What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and I'm here with a random little Project Life page today. So this is from my scrap stream, not the December one. It would have been the one before that, or maybe even the one before that. It could be. Some scrap stream that I've done in the recent six months, and I decided instead of trying to squeeze all of these photos that I liked into my normal Project Life 9x12 page, I decided to do this double page spread. So it's a 6x8 page protector that I had left over from a 6x8 album. And I decided to just go a little bit crazy with how many photos that I wanted to put in here. <laughs> so the great thing about doing this little insert is that, yes, there's square page protector pockets but you don't have to limit yourself to that so this photo down the bottom here um, it's actually one long photo and I printed it as a normal four by six and then just trimmed it down so that it could go across two pockets so that's my challenge for you this week try and use a photo in your pocket scrapbooking and have it go across two pockets now you have to be careful with your photo selection because like this one it doesn't really matter that it's been cut in half but you wouldn't really want to cut a person's face in half so let me know in the comments below if you do do the challenge and please come over to my facebook group scrapaholics anonymous the link's always in the description down below um, and share what you made this week so i decided to do this little title in the middle here and i really like the doodly border around it kind of puts those two pockets into one little area so that your eye doesn't really recognize that it's two different pockets if that makes sense so there's a bit of deceiving here with my pocket layout <laughs> adding a little bit of hearty shine forgot to sing the song sorry <laughs> and then I'm just setting those aside to dry and then cleaning up all the giant mess that I made so on this other side, these are all photos that are, so these are two by two pockets. So these photos must be two by, no, one and a, no. Hmm, maybe they're three by three pockets. I don't know. They're pockets, they're squares of some sort. They're either two by two or three by three. I think they must be three by three. Maybe they're three by three and these photos are three by two. Anywho, these are little photos that I printed using my Project Life app and I do have a video at some point about how I um, edit and print my photos coming out as well. So this first one is, we often have, if you haven't tuned into an Inky Quill scrap stream before, it's where I live scrapbook for a ridiculous amount of hours, usually about 10 once I did, did I do 14 once? I think I might have done 14 once with a, a maybe a half hour break in between. Um, but someone made this and I had to laugh because in our scrap streams, we sometimes get these bots and they're just computer generated bots trying to sell us either Thailand maids or um, click the link and you can get a million followers, that type of thing. And so we always say to Aaron, because he monitors the, the chat um, on his computer so that this doesn't happen, he, um, we tell him to swat the bots with his fly swatter. And I just loved that little piece that someone made on the scrap stream. So I had to include it. This next one is a page from my junk journal. And I actually, I actually just did a flip. No, no, the flip is coming up this weekend, I think. Yes, this weekend on my second channel, um, Let's Get Inky. If you haven't subbed, you should subscribe over there. Link's always in the description below. Um, I did this page and it's on the flip through this weekend in my other channel. So I was quite, I was quite nervous because it was very orange and I don't usually do the orange, but I did this time. This little photo is a screenshot from Facebook and Layla made a layout with me in it and I just was blown away that is so beautiful I just can't believe that someone would care about me so much to make a layout it just I had a little teary in my eye when I saw when she posted this on um Scrapaholics Anonymous 
I just thought this was so, so beautiful. So I do look at all the little things that you make. And if you use the hashtag um, Inky Quill Scrap Stream after the streams, it's really easy for me to find them as well. But Layla, if you're watching this, this just warmed my heart so much and it really meant a whole lot to me. So thank you. Thank you very much. So I just had a little bit of journaling and I'm just doing a bit of a border. And I think that one is done. The great thing about using these square page protectors is there's not a lot of space. So you don't have to embellish a whole lot. This is a page from my art journal, um, which I created. Did I do this on the I must have done this on the stream. I think I did. I think I did. Um, but this is a page that I made in my art journal. And if you're into art journaling, please make sure you head over to my second channel because I do some process videos and flip throughs and things over there. And you might be interested. Adding some tiny word stickers and then my beautiful puffy hearts, which are now all gone. Oh, it was sad to see them go. A subscriber sent them to me and I'm desperate to get my hands on some more. So if you know where I can get these little puffy hearts from, let me know and I will buy 50 packets. <laughs> so next up, I took a lot of photos this week um, just of my craft space because it's a space in my home that's always evolving, as lame as that sounds, but it's always evolving and changing with how I work and how I create and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but it is, it's always, so I'm always tweaking it and changing it to make the, um, it suit what I need at that point. So I think I had just reorganized my mixed media trolley, which is just here. And so I took a little photo of it and I just put a little piece of chipboard that said happiness because it is my happy little space. So I really do recommend that if you, um, if you're, if you've got an event where you've got quite a few photos or a similar topic, try one of these smaller six by eight page protectors in your project life. It's, it's different. It's fun to, and you feel really accomplished when you've done it because it doesn't take too long and it's done. I had to screenshot this. Emma was very proud of me for using orange <laughs> and I was too. So I screenshotted that. I've been big on the Facebook screenshots lately. I've done a lot of process videos. That I've just noticed because I'm recording the voiceovers for so many of them today and yesterday. Um, so many of them do have these Facebook posts, but otherwise I would forget them. So please, please, please don't, um, don't underestimate the power of the screenshot in capturing a memory rather than just the beautiful Kodak smiley picture that everyone's perfect and everyone's looking at the camera. Get those little secret moments that you, you might often miss. And that's it. That's done. So instead of trying to squeeze this in with my normal week, I just added this little insert and I really, really like it. It's definitely something that I'm going to do again. That's my craft a math after the um, epicness that was the scrap stream. And if I haven't already done it, I'm hoping to do a scrap stream before baby Toomey arrives. If I haven't done one yet, I may have already done one by the time this video is up. We'll have to wait and see, maybe. But thanks for watching everyone. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does mean a lot for me and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.